Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, hi, my name is Dorotea and I'm a crochet behind Krovi Patterns. I make crochet tutorials and I post them online. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make little baby socks. This tutorial is for zero to six months and you can find the written instructions on my blog Krovi Patterns. They are free to use. And if you need additional sizes for this or any other crochet pattern I wrote or just want to support my work, I sell beautifully designed crochet patterns available as PDF downloads that you can find in my pattern shops. I will leave the link to the instructions and the materials I use in this tutorial in the description box down below. Let's start with what you're going to need for this project. The first and the most important thing is of course the yarn. I will be using sock weight yarn. The brand I like is Pinbox Pick Your Palette yarn. It's available in skins of 100 grams but you will need just a small amount of yarn. You can crochet quite a few baby socks with that skein. In addition to that you're going to need 3mm crochet hook, 2 stitch markers, a tapestry needle and scissors. These socks are made from the toes up, therefore we are going to start with the toes. Let's start with a foundation chain. Create a foundation chain made of 7 chains. Once you have that, skip the first chain from the hook and start in the second one. Work three half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. For the half double crochet stitch, yarn over first, then insert the hook into the chain, grab the yarn on the other side and pull the yarn through. Yarn over one more time and pull the loop through all the loops on your crochet hook. Now work one half double crochet into each of next four chains. Work 6 half double crochet stitches into the last chain. And once you have that, start working on the other side of the chain towards your first half double crochet stitch and work one half double crochet into each of next four stitches.
finish the round with three half double crochet stitches into the last chain. Join the round with a slip stitch and complete the round with 20 stitches in total. Let's continue with round 2. For the start, create one chain, then work one half double crochet stitch into the first stitch. Work two half double crochet stitches into each of next two stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each of next four stitches. Work two half double crochet stitches into each of the next two stitches. Work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next two stitches. Then work two half double crochet stitches into each of the next two stitches. Work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next four stitches. Work two half double crochet stitches into each of the next two stitches. Now work one half double crochet stitch into the last stitch of the round. Skip the slip stitch from the previous round, join the round with a slip stitch and finish the round with 28 stitches in total. Now we will create the middle part which is a bridge between the toes and the heel. This part is made of 8 rounds of half double crochet stitches. Each round starts with chain 1 and then one half double crochet stitch into each stitch from the row below, which is 28 stitches in total. 
The very important thing here is to keep the seam straight, otherwise the heel might look a little bit off which is not what we want. This can be done by starting one round in the first stitch and skipping the slip stitch from the round below, the same as we have been doing for the first two rounds and then starting the next round in the second stitch and ending the round in the slip stitch from the round below. We will finish each round with a slip stitch made into the very first stitch of the round You can pause the video here, once you finished all 8 rounds of how double crochet stitches, come back and I will show you how to create a heel. In this segment I will show you how to crochet a heel. This is the only part of the pattern that is made in rows and not rounds. It consists of a bunch of decreases and increases. Also we are not going to need the full round of stitches, just a half of it. We are going to chain one first, then we are going to create one chain to lift the row to a proper height and start with row one. Half double crochet two together, stitch first, so join two half double crochet stitches together. Then work one half double crochet stitch into each of next 10 stitches. And now finish the row with half double crochet two together stitch and this row will give you 12 stitches in total. Row 2, chain 1 first, then turn your row, half double crochet two together stitch, And work one half double crochet into each of next eight stitches.
and finish the row with half double crochet to together stitch to join the last two stitches together. This row will give you 10 stitches in total. Row 3, chain 1 and turn your row, half double to together stitch. Then work one half double crochet into each of next six stitches. And finish the row with half double crochet to together stitch. This row will give you 8 stitches. Row 4, chain 1. Half double crochet to together stitch. Work one half double crochet into each of next four stitches. And finish the row with half double crochet to together a stitch. So this row will give you 6 stitches in total. Row 5, chain 1, turn your work, then start the row with half double crochet to together stitch and work one half double crochet into each of next two stitches. Finish the row with half double crochet to together stitch and with 4 stitches in total. Row 6, chain 1, turn your work and work half double crochet to together stitch 2 times. That will give you 2 stitches in total. Row 7, chain 1, turn your work, work 2 half double crochet stitches into each of next 2 stitches. That will give you 4 stitches in total. Row 8, chain 1, turn your work, work 2 half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Work one half double crochet into each of next two stitches and finish the row with two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. That will give you six stitches in total. Row nine, chain one, turn your work, 
work two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch Then work one half double crochet stitch into each of next four stitches. And finish the row with two half double crochet stitches made into the same stitch. That will give you eight stitches in total. Row 10, chain 1, turn your work and work 2 half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Work 1 half double crochet stitch into each of next 6 stitches and finish the row with 2 half double crochet stitches made into the same stitch. That will give you 10 stitches in total. Row 11, chain 1, turn your work and work 2 half double crochet stitches made into the same stitch. Work 1 half double crochet stitch into each of the next 8 stitches. And finish the row with two half double crochet stitches made into the same stitch. That will give you 12 stitches in total. Row 12 is our last row on the heel, so chain one first, then turn your work and work two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch. After that, work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 10 stitches. Finish the row with two half double crochet stitches made into the same stitch and with 14 stitches in total. In the next step I am going to show you how to join the heel with the main part. Now we are going to start with the upper part. Now we are going to attach the heel to the main part in the stitch that was previously used in row 1 of the heel for one leg of the half double crochet two together stitch. Use a slip stitch to attach both parts of the sock together. Once you have that, create one chain, turn your work and start in the not first but second stitch. And that is because that first stitch is a slip stitch from the row below. I usually don't count joining stitches, so joining slip stitches, as stitches in my patterns, therefore I just skip them. Otherwise, I would get one additional stitch every round I make. Now work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 13 stitches.
The next stitch is a joining stitch. It's a basic half double crochet stitch, but instead of inserting the hook into just stitch from the row below, we are going to use a stitch on the other side of the sock too. And for this one, we are going to use a stitch that was not previously used in row one of the heel. As I said before, this is a basic half double crochet stitch, but instead of just one, we are inserting the hook into two layers of fabric at the same time. So use that same stitch for your starting point and create one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 14 stitches. When you have that, join the round with a slip stitch and at that point you should have 28 stitches in total. This is now round two, create one chain, turn your work and work one half double crochet into each of next 28 stitches. Turn the round with a slip stitch. Round 3 is the same as round 2, so just repeat round 2 one more time. Round 4 is a little bit different, it is made from front and back post half double crochet stitches, I will show you what that means in just a second. First chain and turn your work, we are going to start with a front post half double crochet stitch. Please just make sure your stitches here on the ribbing are not too tight or too loose, check the stretchiness of the fabric every round you make and make sure it's just right. Yarn over first, then insert the hook around the first half double crochet stitch from the round below, coming from the front, and create a half double crochet stitch. The next one is back post half double crochet stitch. This means you are going to create a half double crochet stitch around the stitch from the round below coming from the back. Now continue working on your stitches, so one front post half double crochet stitch one and one back post half double crochet stitch all the way around, 28 stitches in total. And once you finished all the stitches, join the round with a slip stitch. Repeat that round seven more times and once you have all the rounds, come back and I will show you how to sew the heel and finish the sock.
all right guys that would be all for today thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and share your work with me on instagram using hashtag groovy patterns thank you for stopping by and thank you for your support it really means a lot have a beautiful day stay safe and well and i see you guys very soon bye